everyone. Welcome back. As the Halloween season is now upon us, I thought it'd be great to kick off the month of October covering one of my favorite Halloween-themed horror graphic novels out there, Alistair Arcane. Alistair Arcane is a book by author Steve Niles of the 30 Days of Night fame and artist Brian Burns. There is so much to love about this book. Um, first and foremost, I really love the fact that it's not an ongoing story. It's a, it's a one and done. It just, it, you know, they get in, they tell their story, and they don't overstay their welcome. No sequel, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. Just tell me a good story. And do it in one, you know, one go, one shot. And the original Alistair Kane was a limited series. It was three issues long, clocking in about 90 pages total. You know, it's about the average length of a horror movie, 90 minutes, in and out, done. The writing is succinct, uh, the pace, it's very fast paced, and the artwork is beautiful. Bre uh, Brian Burns' artwork is, uh, it's just beautifully rendered. The, you know, the way he uses color and the grittiness, the texture, it's exactly the kind of thing, you know, you, you want um, a horror book to evoke. There's a, there's a lot of emotion in the story and it really comes through in Brian's artwork. It is a story about Alistair Green. He is a local uh, sort of small town weatherman and he does this kind of public access horror host as many of us that grew up in the 80s, you know, we saw horror hosts on television and you know, maybe a movie of the week on public access. And uh, it's, it's a really, you know, it, it, there's a lot of heart to the story. You know, he does this kind of because he loves the genre. He has fun with it. It's his, uh, you know, he dresses up as Alistair Arcane. That's his horror host, uh, you know, persona that he takes on. And he hosts, uh, you know, a, a B movie or whatever of the week. And he has, you know, kind of these fun little antics he puts on on the public access network. And, you know, he's, uh, he's just kind of enjoying life and having fun with it. And, you know, th there's this series of an, uh, an unfortunate event that happens. And, uh, you know, much like modern day, they sort of, they pin this on the artist. They try to blame the art as the reason, you know, this kid lops off his little brother's hand. So that's the typical go-to and it, you know, it gets to him, he has to go to court and it sort of tears him down and it takes its toll on him. And, uh, you know, I won't get too much into the story, but, you know, Alistair does pass away and some of his, his last dying words are a curse on the town. And that's where the story really kicks off. I read a few years ago that uh, horror filmmaker Eli Roth and actually Jim Carrey was signed on uh, to do the role of Alistair Arcane. That would be actually quite an interesting role for Jim Carrey, I think. Um, and I don't know what's come of that, if it's just kind of like in development hell or it'll never get made, but it's one of the, I, I would love to see an adaptation of it because, you know, the, the story is brisk and it's at a brisk pace. So there is actually a lot of room uh, for you to kind of put a little imagination between the panels in the book. There is a lot of freedom there to extrapolate on and maybe do something else with. And uh, that's a real beauty of the writing. And um, I would love to see that. I'd love to see an interesting adaptation of this. I think the, you know, the reason it's, it really hits on so many levels for me is just because it's, uh, you could have seen this, it's a perfect sort of coming of age tale with these kids involved in the town. So, um, you know, you've got kids hearing a, a really gritty horror story happening and uh, there's a lot of fun there. And, you know, I think, you know, horror movies tend to get a little overblown, a little too gory, but there's, there's a real nice mix, you know, it, it can, have fun elements to it and it can have the horror and then you know the themes of Halloween and regret sadness and some redemption in it it's a it's a very well-rounded horror story um, I would definitely recommend checking it out because it is only 90 pages it's absolutely worth it Brian Burns art is incredible 
it's a it's a book I love so much that uh, one of my best friends, Kyle, years ago, he actually he got me this. He got me a signed edition, a signed uh, issue number one by Steve Niles, and he took it to this framing store in Chicago. And I want to give them a shout out. April Sevens uh, Custom Framing in Chicago. You can see they've they really have done an interesting uh, custom framing of this the haunt one of the sort of the haunted house the layering of this. Um, featured in the book and they did a great little job they've got little vignettes of some of the artwork and it's just a really great looking frame overall the whole piece is, is phenomenal so I will toss a link down below for April 7 uh, April 7's custom framing but that does it for this week's episode uh, I really hope you had a lot of fun with the painting and I hope you check out the books let me know if you pick up Alistair Kane and what your thoughts are so thank you so much for tuning in this week, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.